So what are you setting up, honey? It's this tripod. That, uh, you can connect a camera, a mobile phone, or whatever it is you want. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, usually I would use this for the big camera, but I haven't been doing a lot of streaming lately. So you just, this thing here, it folds down. Yeah. You just hold it up, and then unless you spin this to go up. Can, can I exp expand uh, to my height level? Um, maybe. This is a smaller one, but uh, yes, it can. I remember now how it works. Yeah? So this is the, like when you want to get really granular access. Yeah. But then you have these little buttons where it extends outwards. Wow. So you... Luckily, you're not so tall, so it doesn't take so many of them. I am tall. I am tall. Yeah, if you're like big Dima height, then you know, maybe not. But if you're uh, <laughs> like, a, like a local height. So you just keep on taking the different layers. Wow. I like this because it's very small. It was more expensive, but it's okay. I forgot how much it was. It doesn't really matter. Just, it's, uh, be careful with it. So here's an example. You don't want to just push this up and down okay. to damage it. You always want to spin with this. You make sure to tighten it, tighten things once you're done. And then when you get the height that's desired, turn that down. You always want to make sure that your legs are stable. That way the tripod doesn't fall over. So here, if you want to get like, I don't know, a little bit higher, you just Alright, just loosen this back up, spin this up or down, so you can go pretty damn high, then go lower. And for whatever reason, if you want to be really extreme, um, it does go even higher. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's not necessary to go like all I the way love it. up. Yeah! Because that's, I mean, look at this, it's towering. Now over. it's in my height level. No, it's not. It's. <laughs> That, that's that's the highest it gets, but that's, that's pretty goddamn high. Like that's, yeah. That, it's like gives you that overhead view. But so what you do to get the actual um, camera on there, I'm going to tighten this. Do not press it up or down. It's going to hold it in place, and you can well, let's get this thing tilted to where it can. I'm so excited to use this. So then you twist. This part here lets you spin this around. Yeah. And tighten that as well, so it's going to be tight. And then here, we have another tightener that uh, will let you get some anguish. I'll show you what this looks like in a moment. And I will have to remember all of this up. Oops, hold on. This wire is being recorded, so that way you can access it. This thing here, you twist it in order to be able to up and down. See that? Ah. Oh. So like now it doesn't go as much. You, if you feel tightness, you never want to push it if okay. you feel pressure. It should be moving very smooth. If it's not moving very smooth, you're doing something wrong. Uh, it's important because these are the things that are easy to break. So once you get the right angle you want, come here real quick, you can see there's a bubble. So this bubble will tell you if you are level or not. So that way you can make sure you have a good, nice, even level. Ooh, so that's how you... Yeah, so that's can, the function of it. So I can go in, tighten this where the bubble's in the middle, and then I can go, you know, grab a phone or a tripod or whatever. Doesn't matter. There's like a little button here thing that can kind of be a pain in the ass, but it's um, okay. It's an easier way to do this. You can pull this out. It's secured in here, so it's, and you can more easily, this is a small tripod thing, so it's not, it's not uh, as easy to put on there. This is meant for cameras, but 
Mm. That might be too little. Yeah, let's see if I can grab it. These things, be careful with these. They break pretty easily. So just why? Yeah. Okay, it's not perfect on there, but let's see if we can get it to work. You just have to fool around with it a bit. How about this? So this There's another. Oh, wait, no. That. Maybe that actually. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. It's okay. just for a secret example. <laughs> so, you have it to where it can spin around. You can choose your angle. So, again, you can twist this guy here. That gives you the up and down action. Oh, my goodness, yeah. You can then tighten it. Remember, always keep it tight. Here, this gives you. You can keep this steady. So now it doesn't move side to side. And this is on here. You loosen it up so that way you can even get some angle. So oh my goodness, that's so vertical, perfect. When yeah, I'm yeah. cooking, then I can I can move it sure, like sure. in a, it's a pretty cool in my desired out. angle. Yeah, so if you want to get vertical, just remember again, tighten it once you choose your angle. If you don't tighten it, it causes um it just it's easier to have a damage. Now you've got everything nice and steady. Your phone is chill, you got your positioning. You know, again, if you want to get some granular adjustments, you can easily do that. Remember to be able to move this. You loosen this part, and then you crank this up. And so you can go in and do stuff like this. So over time, you'll get to where you just intuitively know what to do. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Enjoy.